Okay, so welcome back to another episode of Thank Come Off of Two Goodbye Fair. Now we're about to go to the final game room. So let's do this shit. Chiaki and I went back to the great house together. The weaker my body gets, the less sense everything seems to make. We're on the verge of starving to death, and there's no way to escape. Is it really okay to just lay here and take it, or... This morning, I couldn't help feeling angry that, that I said in front of everyone, but... I don't really think that it's okay if we end up sorry to death. I need to do something. I need to do something soon. And then all of a sudden, I began to feel faint and lost consciousness. What the fuck is that sound? How long was I asleep? I regained my consciousness a little after hearing the faint rumble in the distance. What was that sound just now? Was that an earthquake? But I don't, didn't feel the, the ground move. Maybe I'm just confused. As soon as I know that, a feeling of exhaustion that fills me with ambience towards everything began to overpower my body. And once again, I sank into the depths of unconsciousness. Another sound again. Oh, I thought it was going to be a sound. I've been gaming all night until the wee hours of morning. When I decided to go to the, the convenience store, there I saw some guy that looked with fancy clothes, nice shoes, and a shiny expensive car. There's no way a guy like that actually exists. He, he really lives in a rundown apartment, and all he has. Probably because he doesn't have a stable job of money, but he wants to show off so much that he's forcing himself to do that. So just, just like, just like a lot of these rappers out here nowadays. From morning to noon, he carries around boxes of just furniture for his moving job. And at night, he works at a bar and serves big mugs of beer. But even with that, he still doesn't have enough money, so he buses off his parents back home. As I fancy, as as I fancy played in my mind in front of the convenience store, I started to feel bad for myself. Yo, the body won't move. This never happened to me before. I'm weight blowing. I feel so heavy that I can't even move. Also, really 
perfectly cold as is acquired by bodies being numb. It's perfectly fine by me, but I need to go to great power. If I don't go, my Kotaichi, I want to suffer. Somehow I managed to muster what little strength I had left for Bob said. What time is it? So I felt incredibly weak, weak, weak from hunger, and I managed to drag my heavy body to the lounge. already five minutes till seven AM. I don't want to waste time with my energy for this man that has hit me. But if I ignore my control, everyone will get in trouble not to be and I don't we have the energy to complain. Let's go to the grip tower. Nakamaru! Oh shit, bro. And for real this time. On the other side of that door, I saw the remains of our friend. Damn. For real this time. at the beginning of chapter 3 we thought he was killed off but in reality he was seriously injured only to come back to us only to come back to us towards the end of, of said chapter only to get killed off in chapter 4 like, bro so he was 
he was basically absent for much of chapter three due to injury, and now he he got murdered. Now, this is Nightmare. Please let me wake up. I couldn't think of any other way to describe it. Nakamaro knows this is a lie, right? Based on our situation and the body discovery announcement, it's unfortunate, but there's no doubt that another killing has happened. Killing? I can't, I can't deny the truth, but why? As usual, that was the only word I could squeeze out. Hey. What happened? A kind. Who? Kind pushed me aside and ran straight over to Nekomaro. Why? Why is Nekomaro here?
If I'm pointing thing, I can't unleash my full power. You're right. If we're gonna avenge Mecha Maru, we need to regain our energy so we can't. God damn it, I'm gonna eat it. Come on, Ajime, you too. Uh, yeah, you're right. I've been waiting to eat something for so goddamn long. Damn it, I never expected it feel this terrible when I finally ate it. Hey, hey. Eat it slowly. Don't be bad if you get a stomach ache. We have food in silence. Slowly my blood began, began coursing through my veins. I started to slowly regain my body to fill up my numb body. <laughs> We're like you gone your energy back. Now let's hurry up and start already. Killer and you. And I'm gonna beat the shit out of both of you with my bare hands. However, regardless of whether we start or not, what has happened to the others? They appear to be extremely late. No shit. You mean the guys in the story house? Now that you've mentioned it, it's no one's here. That's where they should have came to the Great Tower because we had Monko and Taichi. I'm I never expected all of you to ditch Monko and Taichi, honestly. It was way beyond my expectations. What are you gonna do? Well, it's gonna happen anyway. I guess it is what it is. Everyone ditched? Does everyone, including us, too? To investigate, I'll see you again in the class trial. I hear something. What do you hear? Could it be Nekamaro? Of course not. He's already dead. Well, now is not the time to worry about the sound. Sound? What are you talking about? I didn't hear anything. And what about Gundam and the others? Is it alright that we have not summoned them here? They're gonna come here soon anyway. Now's not the time to worry about them. You're right. They should have heard the body scary now already. They probably come soon. Maybe. Yep. Then we should have started the investigation soon. Yeah, you're right. I'm gonna I gotta do what I gotta do it, I have to do it. <laughs> First I need to look at the monocone file. The victim was Nekamaru Nade, aka Mecha Naru, after his robotic transformation. His body was discovered in the Great Tower, which, which was inside the funhouse. His head was severely damaged and beyond repair, so that shall be considered the cause of death. Despite the fact that his arms and legs are dismembered, these limbs are actually designed to be detachable and seem separate due to severe impact. Aside from that, several other areas of the body are damaged. Because of this, many of these functions seem to have shut down. The arms and legs were detachable, but it looks like they were separated due to severe impact. Does that mean Nekamaru was repeatedly clubbed with some sort of weapon? But was there a reason they needed to club him over and over again? And I already see the weapon in the in this tower. Yeah, that fucking hammer. I see it. Of course, my uncle follows will be added to the bone section of the handbook. Of course, this hammer will be used. An enormous hammer has been carelessly left on the floor. It's like it's suspicious because it stands out so much. Perhaps that hammer was a weapon that broke Nekamaru. Do I believe a weapon of that size killed damaging Nekamaru? Hammer is a weapon. But it looks a little too clean. It's almost like it's new or something. Also, where did the killer obtain this hammer? Right now, I. I do not believe I've seen ever seen a, an object like this. Was it hidden somewhere? Good point. There's no silver mark in here. I wonder where they obtained it from. New looking hammer that the true building session of the handbook. The 
broken color. So next to the door is tipped over and broken. The pillow breaks when it's fell over. Not just that, but there's a strange liquid on the upper section of the pillar. Is it Nekamaro foil? This is the only pillar that's tipped over. The other is still, one is still standing. Plus behind me is the door to the Great Hall. Two pillars on each side of the door haven't changed either. They were not tipped over. It's strange that the pillar is only is the only one that tipped over. It might mean something. I see, I got it. Got what? The pillar is a weapon. The killer used this to beat, beat up Coach Nekamaru. This, this huge ass pillar. If you got socked by something like this, even Coach Nekamaru wouldn't stand a chance. Well, yeah. Yeah, well, it's impossible. It'd be too heavy to wield as a weapon. Hi, Jimmy. Grab the end over there. Huh? We have to try it out, obviously. Come on, hurry up. Fine. Jeez, you're more, more forceful than usual. Just give up already. And what a fucking idiot Akane is at, at times. <laughs> it's no use. It won't even budge. If two people can't even move this pillar, then it's impossible to use it as a blood drink weapon. Well, there's only one person who could have lifted something like this. Well, Robo Coach Nekamaru, he's definitely the only one. Tipped over the pillar, it's been added to the true section of the handbook. This Nekamaru's body is critically broken. It looks like he's been severely damaged, even that even his head is dented. That would be the fatal wound, right? But Nekamaru's robot body should be durable enough to withstand any assault for Nekamaro to be this damaged can only be whoever's attacked Nekamaro. I didn't hold back. Now is probably not the best time to think this, but I guess Nekamaro really transformed a robot, huh? I was getting used to the idea, but now I think well, robots are definitely unusual. Well, it doesn't matter if he was the robot or not. Either way, Nekamaru is still killed. It's definitely strange, isn't it? What is it? If they wanted to kill him, they could have just destroyed his head. Why did they destroy his entire body too? Maybe they didn't know how to kill a robot, so they damaged him all over. <laughs> but they went against Coach Nekamaru. He is the type to die easily. They obviously then fight him head on, but even then he wouldn't leave himself to open attack. To open to attack. You're right. In fact, that's the biggest mystery. Nekamaro was even stronger after he became a robot, and I can't think of anyone who was capable of killing him. Anyway, this alone isn't enough information. I should investigate a little more, so I'll leave. The chest is open slightly, but it won't open much because the car is all messed up. If only Kazuichi was here, he might be able to open it. Jeez, what the hell could he be doing right now? Huh? There's something protruding behind from behind the girl's neck. Is it? Oh yeah, the function to sleep. Oh, it's the good night button, basically. 
So the cult, the killer, must have put him into sleep mode first and then killed him. Maybe the killer put him to make Nakamura go into sleep mode, but still, probably think the killer would be able to press the button on the back of Nakamura's neck, even if Nakamura was ambushed. That would be easy. <laughs> Good night, Bunch. I had a true bullet session of being ambushed. This wood pulling out that long body. Based on the smell, it smells like oil. It seems to be blowing heaviest on Nekamal's head because that's where the real blow was dealt. This oil from Nekamal, this might be similar to normal blood in humans, which means all this oil is just pool of robot blood. Anyway, that's a whole lot of oil. It's not going to be easy to clean up. No, now's not the time to even worry about that. Oil, oil on the floor, as a true blow session of the handbook. Wire. There's a sturdy metal wire tied to Nicomaro's neck, left leg. The same wire is tied to his arm. It's almost like he was bound, bound up with him. Even if they bound him up. The serial killer still has to deal with robotics Nekomaru first. Who did this? And how did they, they able to, to blind Nekomaru? Wait, is it blind? Yeah, it's blind. Also, the tip of this wire. It looks like it's been tied in a loop, but... What? What's the point of this? Why is that a true bullet sensor? I have a hmm. that's, all I can, all, that's all I can do to investigate his body. I noticed that the door has it's locked. What is this? Door is walked back from his chain to wrap around the doorknob. It looks like a this sturdy metal chain. It's wrapped around the doorknob from every direction and and it even has a padlock on it. Why is it they do something like this. Perhaps this was used as an alternative to locking the door with a key. If that's the case, you want to be able to enter this house on a strawberry hall side. After all, this door should lead to the strawberry hall. If they barred the side of the door with a chain, it would be impossible to open it from the strawberry hole. But still, why would they need to bar door to the strawberry hole? Chain has been at the trouble of session of the handbook. What's this? Did you find something? Yeah. Uh, this under Nekamal's body. Oh, no, wait. There's a small rock like fragment underneath Me Nekamal's body. You didn't need to crack stuff like that. And what do you mean by rock like fragments? Hey, look. There are a lot of small fragments. It's like they fell under Nekamal's body. Yeah. But oddly enough, those three fragments are underneath Nekamal's body. There are hardly any on the top of his body at all. What is this? What's strange about it? Is there a problem that they're not on the top of his body? Yeah. If you don't know, it's okay. It probably means they're not that important. Well, if you put it like that, now I can't help but think they're important. The killer fragments have been at the true bullet session of the handbook. Well, like, yeah, I'm finally thinking. Yeah. Yeah. Any cl clues, right? I remember something just a quick word. Look like it's gonna be a little hard. Yeah. Oh, I remember. Is there something I thought was weird? What happened? Is it? It happened earlier. Morning. You, you're going back that far? Come on. You know this too, right? 
You heard that rumbling sound. Oh yeah, the sound, the rumbling sound. Rumbling. What was that? What was that sound just now? What? Was it an earthquake? It was rumbling. Yeah, so thank you so much. Um. I was bleeding pretty heavy, so I went to think about how hungry I was, but that noise woke me up. I ran out of my room, but I was thinking after I did that. Then what happened? Mm. I didn't see anything. And it looked like the others didn't come out of their rooms either. I felt pretty dumb for being the one who came out. So I went back to my room and fell back to sleep. In the end, I never found out what was that what was sound what that sound was, but it was been on my mind for a while. You know? Now you mention it, it does seem strange. Just what was that sound? Mm. You don't know either? Well, I should tell you in more detail. When I ran out of my, out of my room, having to glance, glance at the lounge clock, it said it was around 5.30 in the morning. Will you be able to find out anything with that info? I didn't think that rumbling noise happened that early in the morning, but I'm not really sure if that noise pertains to be incident or not. What the hell? I went to the show of remembering that. And you've got nothing? Jeez, you're so damn useless. Seems a good it seems a a gidget a gidget is. Well that's understandable. Besides the kind of the two word sessions in the handbook. Yes, but for now I'll check out everything in this place that caught my attention. What is it? You seem lost in thought. Well, final dead room. Final dead room. What the hell? Why are you bringing it up that place all the time? Well, the hammer on the floor. The chain wrapped around the door is far back. And the wires that tied up Mecca Morrow. All the evidence, all the evidence of this crime consists of things you never, we never seen in the building, does it? But as long as we can't leave, there is no doubt that they came from somewhere in this building. So that's why you mentioned the final dead room. Montour said Beyond's room is an ultimate weapon in a place called the Octagon. So if we think of that place like a map, like armory, then that's where the killer obtained their tools, right? Well, if so, then let's go confirm it. No, that's dangerous. If you go in there, you have to play the life-threatening game. Then I'll be the one who tries to confirm it. Huh? What are you saying? You were the one who said that the place was dangerous, right? Yeah. Man, it's noisy. I can't focus with all this noise. Sorry. It's not like that. It's not you guys. There's a sound I've been ringing that's been ringing since before the investigation started. It's ringing sound since before the investigation. That sound reminds me. You must. You've been mentioning that sound for for a while, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Hi. What sound was it? Um. It was like. This high pitch alarm clock sound. It's probably ringing from upstairs. Could be. May, maybe it, it's better if we go check out the sound first. Are you going to check it out? Then you guys go. I'll stay here. Okay. So, I shall wait here as well. Please be careful, you two. Telling you it's okay, but... How come you're not going on time? Well, it's, that sounds, it's, it's annoying, and I don't really feel like leaving. Okay. Watch me. It's okay if it's just the two of us. Come on. The client says she wants to stay here. Huh? Okay, so I get it. She doesn't want to leave Nakamura. So, I don't know if she actually is aware of that or not. Yeah. Let's go, Hajime. Yeah, it's safe to. Get the fuck up out of here.